Hey everybody, Claudine and I'm here and today I'm doing a review on the Monster High Great Scarier Reef Dolls and we have, here are the budget dolls, they're $14.99 at retail and we have Toralei, Frankie Stein, and Laguna Blue. Now, of course, the Great Scarier Reef dolls have this completely new box design. It kind of reminds me of Freaky Fusion, how Freaky Fusion had a completely new box design. Um, so as we can see here, like the boxes are kind of kind of rigid on the side, and it looks um, crazy. <laughs> and it's this Great Scarier Reef, and then over here, it's kind of like this wave, um, curvy design over here. And then we have Toralize artwork, Great Scarier Reef logo down here. And then inside the box, we have like this kind of pop-out cardboard that has um, like coral and like seaweed and stuff on it. It says Glow some Ghoulfish Toraline. Now on the side it says Monster High of course and then it's kind of clear so you can see through the box. And then on the back it says Toraline, daughter of the Werecats. And then it says her wings glow in the dark, a great scarier reef. And then it gives a synopsis, the synopsis of the movie. And it says the ghouls are swimming in troubled waters after a whirlpool pulls them back from Monster High all the way to Laguna's home in Great Scarier Reef. But that's only the beginning of them or of their aquatic adventures. Now the ghouls find themselves with fantastic fishy forms, and Laguna must face her childhood bully. And her worst fear: will they continue to make waves or reveal their true bravery and make their way back home to stand on dry ground? And this is also available, Laguna Blue and Frankie Stein, part of the Glowsome glow Ghoulfish section of the Great Scary Reef Dolls. And this is Be Yourself, Be Unique, Be a Monster on MonsterHigh.com. And then we have YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And over here we have Frankie. So Frankie's artwork is over here on the box as well. Um, I believe that all their artworks look a bit different, as if a different artist did each of their artworks. Take a quick look at that, like even Laguna's. Laguna's looks completely different from them, to be honest with you. But Frankie's, um, in the back over here. And it says doll stands on her fin or on her tail. Laguna's. And it says gold tells you about the DVD coming in 2016. So the back, there's all of the business artwork. And now, I will unbox them so we can get some detailed review on these fishy ghouls. And here they are, D-Box. So first over here, we have Glowsome Ghoulfish Laguna Blue. She is Gorgeous. I really love this doll. She's just so vibrant and colorful. So starting off with her hair She has this ponytail going on and then of course it's kind of curly. It has a bit of like hairspray in it to keep it in place um, Which is probably gonna be washed out, but it, it's really colorful and as we can see she has like a, a vibrant pink streak and then a vibrant blue streak and then over here in the front She has a bit of a pompadour going back um, into her ponytail. I Really love this hair and then her makeup is gorgeous. I wish I could do makeup that amazing. It's kind of like scaly looking and then her eyelashes are super spidery and like long. I love them. They're, ugh, it's gorgeous. So her eyes are of course green like normal and she has her freckles and then she has blue lips. She does not have ear piercings or like any earrings. And then she has this crop top turtleneck which is kind of um, asymmetrical. And then the print on it appears to be a starfish? I'm really not sure. It just, it looks like a starfish to me. And then it looks like it has, um, it really kind of comes together in a design. On the back she has her wings, and her wings are posable, so I can like kind of clamp them together or make them open. I didn't really understand why she had wings considering she's in the water, but that's fine. <laughs> and then her scaly articulated body so she is articulated and she includes this pink bracelet right here it's kind of vibrant and then her her fins are new like this these are not her normal fins she generally has like a, a different arm and they're super glittery which I love it's super like shimmery 
and then she has this plastic piece going around her and it appears to be like a rope of some sort or it almost looks like a flower. I'm trying to figure out what that is. I really don't know. Comment down below if you know what it is. And then over here she has like these ruffles on the side made of plastic as well. And then her body's kind of thin. And then here is her posable thin. So she moves at the hips and she goes back and forth kind of if you wanted to make her swim in the water. And then here it has like this design and then she's kind of like rigid around here so you do feel like this bit of a texture and then over here it's posable and she can turn on her fin she can go back and forth on her fin it's pretty posable and then down here it's also really posable it's really really thin here but then it's really posable down here where her um, fin can twist around and it's also detachable and then her fin is really cool. It's like super glittery and has this awesome swirly design going on. And then she just stands up by putting it backwards. And then, oops, her tail's backwards. <laughs> and you can pose her and she stands on her own. So I'll put her back here so I can review Electric Eel Frankie. So here's Frankie. I really love this Frankie because she's so different from other Frankies. So starting off with her hair, she has this huge bump as well, it's a bit of a pompadour as well, and it has this piece of foam inside the hair which I can see, it's kind of being revealed over here, that gives it that volume. And then it's in a ponytail, and she has amazing vibrant blue strings as well. So it's platinum white, and then we have um, the blue streaks and then black streaks. And then her eyebrows are shaped like lightning bolts, which I loved. That is so gaggy. I love it. And then she has her yellow eyeshadow. It's super dramatic going on. And she doesn't have many eyelashes, but she has super winged eyeliner. And then she has lightning bolts coming out of her eye um, as eyeshadow, of course. And then she has her stitch and then red lips. Now, I wish she would have had blue lips, to be honest, with darker blue lips kind of match more or yellow lips even. And then she has her stitches are molded on. So they're actually, they're not painted on, which I don't know why, but they are molded on. And then she has um, black bolts on her neck. And they're actually shaped differently. They're generally a, a different size, I believe. And then of course she has her top, which is a bit of like a blouse type top. It's sleeveless, of course. And it appears to be like really it, a lot's going on in that top basically it's, i mean it's ruffle it's, it's kind of crazy and then her arms over here you know she has fins as well and her arms are kind of like rigid they have like this weird design going on as if it's kind of like scaly and she is articulate she also has a belt which is an eel itself it's a black electric eel or eel i mean i'm not sure if it's electric but it appears to be an electric eel and then her tail is also posable, but not as, as much as Laguna's for some reason. Like, she can pose like this. And then she has the fins on the side of her tail, which is really cool. And then, like, lightning bolt looks going out of her tail. And then this, this appears to not go back and forth, but it twists. So it can, like, twist around. And then this part of the tail is almost like the wisp tail, where it twists around as well. It doesn't really, um go back and forth but it does twist and then the end has like the little eel looking scales or like fin so then you can just put that up and she should be able to stand you just gotta find which way to stand the tail and they'll stay up so that's Frankie put her back here and then we have one of my favorites. I love this Toralei. She's so colorful. So she is, I believe, a tiger fish. I'm not sure what the, or a lion fish. I think that's what it is. And of course, they all have their ponytails. So she has a ponytail as well. And then she has black streaks going through her hair and then her little cat ears. Her makeup is super dramatic as well. So she has the green eyeshadow in a weird design and it's just super glittery. You can see that it has like glitter going throughout the eyeshadow. Her eyes are glowing green, and then she has green below her eyes as well, with her um, cat marks. 
for the stripes. And then she has orange lips. And then her wings back here are not posable. Uh, yeah, they're not posable because they're round, but they are detachable. And they have like this kind of lion or like tiger striped going on. And then she has a well, it appears to be like a seaweed type necklace and it's kind of translucent. And then she has this top, which is, it's similar to Frankie's, so that way it covers her tail and you know, you don't see her belly button or anything. And then it's also posable like that, like she can go swim. And then she has the tail that goes back and forth. So it's more posable than Frankie's. And then her tail is kind of like Sirena's where it clamps down and then opens up. So she stands like that. And that's Glowsome Ghoulfish Toralei. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like this video. Comment down below what are your thoughts. I love the concept because they're mermaids. So how do you feel about mermaids? How do you feel about this line? Leave your thoughts. Comment down below. Let Monster High know what you think. And like this video. Again, subscribe and see ya. Thanks for watching.